What's going on everybody? So today let's talk a little bit about gear and organization. Now gear and organization is something I've always struggled with a little bit. Uh, gear mostly because I like to buy a lot of new stuff and then I end up with you know custom cases and whatever else for, for certain products and then when I get rid of them or I sell it or I'm not using it as much then I don't have a good spot uh, to sort of store it and keep that. So I've got plethora of things. I've got four or five different cases and bags that I bring with depending on um, you know what kind of shooting I'm doing or what kind of gear I think I'm going to need. But most of the time I try to keep as much stuff as, as condensed as possible and bring as much uh, you know stuff with me because there's been times where I don't think I'm going to need the drone and then I wish I had it or camera or tripods or cables or anything like that. So let me kind of go over here um, what I've been doing to store my gear currently and what I'm going to hopefully switch over to which if it all plays out properly will end up working a lot better. And here's some of the gear laid out. I don't have everything and I don't always keep everything with me. Um, but to start off with, I usually have a little drone case that I keep uh, the drone in. Um, links are in the bottom here in the description so you can find that easily. Uh, but this works really well. I can fit the iPad in here. I can fit the remote, a couple batteries and everything like that. Uh, it makes it super easy to throw into a backpack and, and take with me when I wanna go somewhere. Um, but a lot of times if I'm going somewhere with a drone, I want to be taking the camera. So then if I'm doing that, then I'm throwing everything into the camera bag. I have my DSLR, I get the drone thrown in there. I have batteries and wires and cables and GoPro adapters and everything else shoved in there. And then if I go on a really long trip, I've got a Pelican case. So of course, Pelican cases, as you probably know, are really robust. They're heavy duty, they're waterproof, uh, they're made in the USA. But the issue that I've really found with uh, Pelican cases that I struggle with is actually putting everything into the case itself. So I've been using the little pick pluck your foam stuff, which works really well um, to organize and separate things. However, longevity wise, it just doesn't hold up. After a while, it starts to kind of cave in a little bit and pieces start to tear because of the uh, you know style that the foam is and they make it easy to separate but that also means that it kind of falls apart easily as well so you can't you know do small little borders between things because after a while they start to tear and it just doesn't hold up and the other main issue that I have with foam is that after you pick it and you pluck it out you end up with all these random pieces that you can't really use now I've seen guys go through and they'll either glue the foam which I've tried to do before or they plasti dip it which actually does seem to work pretty well but it's just kind of a lot of work uh, to end up with something that isn't quite as robust as I would like to uh, keep my gear in especially when it's getting banged around or tossed in the back of the truck and you know out camping and that sort of thing so you know, it just doesn't hold up that well. And then the last thing about it is when I buy new gear, if I've plucked the foam out for a certain piece, like this is where the Osmo used to go, uh, and now we've got the Osmo Mobile 2, um, it doesn't fit in the same spot. And so now I've kind of got an empty area and I can try to shove foam back in there and glue it back in. But then when I want to reuse it, it just, again, goes back to that reliability and, and just doesn't hold up that well. Now there are companies that offer foam, uh, pre-cut foam basically, so you order it online and they have a solid piece of foam and then they laser cut out you know, whatever dimensions or objects that you have basically that you want in here. And that is really cool, however it's expensive for one, for just laser cut foam, and two, that goes back to the whole thing of later when you buy something else or a different piece of gear, you don't have that option of easily adding it in there. So I've been searching and searching and searching and finally I found something that I think might work well for me and should allow a adaptability for future stuff. So what I'm talking about here is this uh, packing foam and inserts called Trek Pack. Now Trek Pack is uh, seemingly pretty awesome. Basically you end up with this perimeter border um, that you install in the case and it comes with these little pins right here and it helps to keep the pieces together. So you can put that, you can seal up the border, but then you end up with this foam that you can cut and you can add on and basically customize how your case looks. Um, and then of course, when you're cutting foam, that does technically modify it. But because you can order these pieces individually and you can pop them in now and cut them as needed, um, you know, adding new gear or parts to your bag 
won't be such a big issue because you'll be able to custom make a new little spot for it inside of your existing foam case here. So let me get it to kind of laid out here so we can see what we're working with. Here's what we're starting with and you can see a few empty slots. This is actually where I had the, the spark in there for a while. Um, and then I've just sort of got a larger open area just for parts and pieces because I didn't want to make individual little slots for stuff and then later not be able to uh, do anything with it if I got rid of that part of you know the gear or I said it to change up the organization a little bit. All right, so the Trek Pack uh, little parts and everything are installed fully. Now I didn't fit all of my gear in here. I've still got a little bit of extras. Um, but I did not expect to fit everything, but I will tell you I've got a lot more in the bag now than I had before. So I've got my camera, camera accessories, cables, GoPro stuff, uh, stabilizers, gimbals. Um, I did keep the drone in the little case, so that way I can take this the whole case with me when I go camping, but then when we go out on a trail or something, I can just grab the parts that I need. So I'll take that and I'll grab the remote and grab the camera, um, but I won't need, of course, all the GoPro parts or wires to plug in the computers or anything like that. Um, but overall, everything has been really awesome. The whole, you know, fact that we can cut it really easily makes a lot of sense and uh, of course, it comes with some extras and stuff in there, and I've still got several extra pieces. Um, so later down the road when I add more gear or pick up more stuff or I just feel like changing the layout of the case, I'll be able to do so. Um, Price-wise for the Trek Pack, it was a little bit on the expensive side for organization. However, it's only a little bit more expensive than the, the laser cut foam. And the fact that later on I can go through and I can change the layout of this without having to reorder um, new foam or you know change the whole layout just because I want to add one extra thing is a huge plus and I highly recommend it. So if you haven't heard of Trek Pack before, make sure you take a look at their uh, site, see what they have to offer. They offer almost all of their products for just about any case out there. Um, it's, it is case specific so uh, like for example, this is the, the 1600. They do have, of course, this setup for this case or the 15, 1510, uh, basically every Pelican case. So adding stuff on and getting a perfect fit for your case and your gear is really easy with the Trek Pack um, organization stuff and highly recommend you take a look at them.